everybody. Just want to share with you today a project I'm working on. It's actually a little no-sew Valentine dish towel to hang on my stove. And so I want to show you what uh, the, the main thing is, and it is a flour sack. If you don't know what a flour sack is, it is just a really inexpensive little dish towel that you can get at Dollar Tree, um, any little dollar store type place. Uh, so, um, I want to say some places call them bar mops. And, uh, and they're just really thin, 100% cotton. They're usually like 24 by 24 inches. And, uh, and the little store that I got mine at um, came two in a pack for $2. And so I took mine out and washed and dried it. I think washing and drying it does draw it up just a little bit since it's 100% cotton. And it also makes it just a little thicker. But I wanted to show you kind of what it looked like, one ironed and one not ironed. So it does look kind of rough when you get it out of the dryer. And uh, just it's not as thin as galls, but it just looks it looks pretty rough. But if you do use your steam iron and, and press it really good, you can get it uh, a lot smoother and a lot crisper looking. So I uh, just want to show you the before and after of washing. Um, I'm going to make a freezer stencil. And uh, th some of you that aren't in the United States may not uh, can get freezer paper or know exactly what freezer paper is, but it does say freezer paper. Um, this is a Reynolds brand. It's, you know, of course, it's where the aluminum foil and stuff is. And uh, what it looks like is it's dull on one side and shiny on the other. Now, this is not wax paper. It is freezer paper. So don't make the mistake of, of uh, buying wax paper instead. And, uh, and I'm, the paint I'm going to use is fabric paint. Um, one of the things in my stash, I already had some fabric paint. So if your paint says fabric paint, then your paint is good to go. It already has the textile medium in it. And so you, it's just uh, as is. Now, if you just have the regular craft paint, you do have to add in some textile medium. And what textile medium is, is it, it, crea it makes regular paint into fabric paint. It makes um, it... it uh, makes the fabric softer. It, it kind of goes into the weave of the fabric, and because if you didn't, sometimes the the crack the paint will crack, and so it just softens up the paint to allow it to absorb into the fabric is what it does. So this is really old because I don't do a lot of fabric painting anymore, but um, but it will say fabric medium or textile medium, and it's where the paint is. Usually you can get a little bottle like this for less than a dollar. But I've got red. I'm going to make some red. I'm going to make some black, and the, uh, the formula is two to one. So if I use like two tablespoons of red, I'll use one tablespoon of medium, and so it's two to one on the paint and medium. Okay, and I usually daub it with a cosmetic sponge. They seem to work it work better for me. I like the way those work. Um, it doesn't. Um, I just like the way it um, it daubs. I don't like just using a regular sponge. All right, and I just went to Google and just Googled Lovebird stencil, or you can do Lovebird coloring. You know, um, using those will usually get you a real basic design. And so that's what I did. Um, you can actually just go put the freezer paper on the computer screen and just trace it from the computer screen. Or I just printed mine out. My ink is almost out. That's the reason why it's striped looking. But that's a, a basic enough shape to where I can just use an X-Acto knife and cut it out. Um, and that's going to be my stencil. So I'm just going to trace my uh, picture onto my um, freezer paper. And that's what I'll use. And I just grabbed up some embellishments. Um... Uh, some ribbon, uh, some zebra ribbon, and these are some roses I had from a haul uh, last week. And uh, and also, um, you can sew the ribbon on the edge of the of the dish towel if you choose to. But I'm just going to use some of this no sew iron on hemming tape. And um and this is re usually pretty durable enough where you actually can wash this a time or two. I've washed several things with hemming tape before and it does last, but I really don't intend on washing this dish towel because it's pretty much for decorative decorative reasons only. But anyway, this this hemming tape is sold in like Walmart in the sewing section. So you, if you go to where the pins and things are, sewing pins, you'll usually find a roll of this for about $3 and it works great. And also, I just grabbed up for maybe my other dish towel. This is something I got from a thrift store at some point, at some time. It was 99 cents. It was on clearance at Walmart for $4.50. And it was just some iron-on applique. So this is just another idea 
that I may, uh, and this I have actually a love. So this is something I may do with the other dish towel and may give it for a gift. But that's just another idea of how to maybe decorate up the dish towel. I mean, this is pretty much a blank canvas. I mean, you could do any holiday. Um, and if you can dream it up, you can you can do it on this little dish towel. So I, that's what I, I think is cute, that it just gives your little kitchen, it gives your kitchen a little one of a kind little decorative piece and so I think you know of course I could go to the store and buy something but I just think it's fun to create and 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 then people ask you about it and then you can explain to them that you made it or, or you know it's just the pride in making it so anyway just join me uh back and I'll have my stencil cut out and then I'll show you how I iron it onto my cloth and then we'll get ready to paint so I'll see you in a few minutes Okay, I'm up here at the ironing board, and I've got my iron plugged in. I've got it set on cotton, but it does not have to be that hot. Um, that uh, that freezer paper irons really quickly. All right, so I went ahead and t uh, pinned the hemming tape to my ribbon, and I'm going to place the ribbon wherever I want it to be. I'm going to open up this dish towel in, in, um, in just a minute, but I just wanted to show you uh, what I did to the ribbon. And I've got my stencil cut out, and... Uh, and I'm just going to place my stencil where I want it to be. And just uh, don't forget that you're going to be ironing the shiny side down. Okay, so this is the paper side. And, um, and you're going to be ironing the shiny side down. So I'm going to iron my ribbon and iron my stencil in place. All right, here's a quick look of me finish ironing. I went ahead and ironed my ribbon down all the way across. And uh, it's nice and secured. And I flipped it over just a little bit and ironed around the corner just so it would stay secure and give a finished look. And I just put my shiny side down and ironed it. And so it attaches to the cotton fabric very, very well. It seals the edges very well. That's the uh, that's the beauty of this freezer paper is, is that it makes a great stencil. So now I'm going to go downstairs and mix up my fabric paint. Okay, I have my towel ready to paint. I went ahead and put a few paper towels underneath my stencil design because what it, the, the cloth is so thin, it will definitely go through whatever surface you're painting on. And so I've got my, my red and black fabric paint prepared. And uh, I just took my cosmetic sponge and cut it into three because I'll be using three different colors. And I'm just going to dab it into the red. And... Just kind of dab it onto my stencil like that, okay? And so I'm going to go ahead and finish the colors, and I'll get back with you. Okay, I want to show you um, I'm so impatient that I went ahead and pulled the stencil off while the paint was still a little wet. I do want to show you um, a little boo-boo, so we'll see how that goes. I don't know if it's just the fabric is wet or it's kind of bleated under the stencil, but I want to show you so that, you know, if this happens to you, we'll see how this turns out when the dish towel is completely dry. All right, I was able to save my project. After my towel dried, um, I noticed that there was still a little bit of discoloration under my little black, my little, uh, my little boy bird. And so um, I think what happened was with me making my own fabric paint, I made it just a little too thin and it kind of bled through the um, stencil. So, you know, most fabric paint is a little thicker. So I'll just cut, zoom in a little bit and uh, show you. I decided just to take a little felt that I had and create him a little scarf. Because here in Tennessee, February is still very much winter. And so I think that still looks appropriate. And I took the little roses that I was going to put on the ribbon. And I just kind of, you know, embellished her a little bit. And I just took a, a black Sharpie marker and made her some little wings. And so... And I put some little rhinestones for their eyes. And so I think it's cute for a matter of a dollar and a little time. And now my stove is ready for Valentine's Day. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you try something. See you soon. Bye-bye.